By 6 a.m., we hit the road to Entebbe International Airport to cover the return of Chadondo East MP Robert Chagulani, popularly known as Bobby Wine, from the U.S., where he had been receiving treatment. There was visible security deployment of soldiers and police officers from the Chibuye roundabout and throughout the Kampala Entebbe Highway, a length of 40 kilometers. The police chopper could be seen in the skies above the highway and neighboring areas. Security operatives mounted their first checkpoint at Zana roundabout. There were at least three other checkpoints on the highway to Entebbe International Airport. As a result of rigorous checks, there was traffic jam stretching from Seguku to Reza through to Kajansi. Security operatives at the Kajansi checkpoint thoroughly searched all cars, probably looking for any Bobby Wayne supporters heading to the airport. Then TV crew was blocked from proceeding beyond Kajansi. The security officers said that we needed to obtain authorization to continue to the airport. How are you on TV? Fine. How are you? How are you? Please wait here for clearance. Eh? Okay. However, two hours later, we had not yet been cleared to proceed to Entebbe. We later turned and drove back to Kampala. Meanwhile, security operatives besieged the home of Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago in Wakaliga early morning. Lukwago later told NTV that police was abusing his rights to move freely and earn a living by going to work. I'm the Lord Mayor of the capital city. I am a practicing advocate. I have lots of responsibilities to attend to. Security operatives also sealed off the home of former Machindi East MP, Mike Mavike, who is one of the leaders of the People Power Formation. NTV could not establish whether he was inside the house or not. There was also heavy deployment in Kasangati, near Bobi Wayne's Magere home and Kamocha, where the MP runs his businesses. Jumakiria, NTV.